So, this will be our first video. First problem we're gonna discuss. Topic is on integral calculus, integration by parts. Uh, this will just be a raw video, so not edited. Uh, we have no time to edit, so just a sample of what or a glimpse of what we'll be doing the next few weeks. So, what we're normally taught at school, solving these kind of problems, is to follow the general rule of integration by parts. So this is integral of u dv, those two separate functions is equal to uv minus integral of vd, right? So what what I'm gonna teach you is a simpler technique that I've learned during my college days. So what we're gonna do first is we'll uh, make two columns, one for the differential and one for the integral. So what we're gonna put under the differential column is the function that will power down after the first or after the series of differentials so from the example x cubed and sine x which of the two will power down after differential or differentiating x cubed right so we have x cubed under the differential column so under the integral column is sine x so first we will differentiate x cubed until it becomes 0 or the exponent of x becomes 0 so we have uh, x cubed here. So the differential of x cubed is 3x squared. The differential of 3x squared is 6x. So this is 2 minus 1. This will become 1. So we will not write 1 anymore. So the differential of 6x is 6. This is x to the 1 minus 1. This will become x to the 0. So any power raised to the power of uh, any number uh, raised to the power of 0 becomes 1. So we will not write 1 anymore. So the differential of 6 is 0. So then we will now integrate sine x. So there's much confusion on, especially on the differential and integral of trigonometric functions involving sine and cosine, right? Uh, the differential of sine is cosine, the integral of, or the differential of cosine is sine, and you just, you you will be mixing the signs, right? So in math, one wrong sign is one wrong answer, okay? So, I will be teaching you a simple mnemonic on a uh, simple mnemonic on how I'm not forgetting the signs of the differential integral of sine and cosine. So, familiar mo ng buaya, buaya nga, buaya nga, nasa sinina, right? Buaya ba ni? Maraming tiki. So, tiki. <laughs> so, saan na nga brand? Lakos. So, this is no way, in no way sponsored by Lakos, ha? <laughs> so, mga designs no they can design ang lacos so mo, this is what i remember lacos design or design lacos whatever so i remember uh, i i will i always remember the lacos designed to be positive or nice nindot diba positive it is so pero ang negative lang presyo diba so eh I mean, I mean, kidding aside so positive siya meaning nindot comfy siguro no kaya bukos sa <laughs> so what's the clue here so atong tanaw ng first letter this is L so the previous uh, symbol for integral is either S or L depende sa author right so the integral of cosine is always positive so positive sign sa so, differential of sine so this is sine is always positive so this is positive cosine right so 
after learning this dili na siguro ninyo ma-mix ang signs do so, maglibog mo so ito may differential sa sign negative cosine ba to or positive cosine no so by remembering this you will have a uh, guide on the signs so what is the integral of sine so the integral of sine so not here so this is negative cosine the integral of negative cosine so integral of cosine is positive sine so this is we will carry on the sine negative integral of cosine x is positive sine so sine x so the integral of sine x again is negative cosine but we have a negative sign already so ma positive siya positive cosine x and the integral of cosine x is sine x so after this we will make this uh, atong lines para murag table we're gonna pair this no may pa sila pair pair so we're gonna pair these terms so first term paired to the second term sa integral so paubos arrow down arrow down okay so inana lang then we will assign the signs so first term will be positive second term will be negative third term will be positive fourth term will be negative and so on and so forth if 11 terms are there so uh, you will just use alternating signs right so we will copy the so pasabot aning arrow is multiply the term so first term is x cubed multiplied by negative cosine x then i-add na nato ang terms no so i-add ang term dere then multiply na po sila ng duha so we have 3x squared so negative and negative this will become positive sin x okay then plus na po 6x times cosine x then plus na po plus 6 times negative sin x so 6 times sin x and negative okay plus c so we're gonna simplify this this will become negative x cubed cosine x plus 3x squared sin x uh, plus 6x cosine x minus 6 sin x plus c so, money. this is the final answer okay i hope you learned something here and we will be posting the next video i don't know i will just update okay thank you for watching